I don't know about you, but I've been hearing the word regeneration more and more lately, and I'm really excited because it's inherently an eco-psychological term. The natural world epitomizes regeneration in all things that it does. And so in that way, it makes sense that we hear more about regenerative agriculture and regenerative medicine. There's even people discussing about the need of more regenerative cultures, and I couldn't agree with this more. It's a critically important subject matter that us, that we engage because if we want regenerative cultures that are conducive to healing and health, thriving and resilience, then we actually need to go deeper. And I think we need to create regenerative psychologies that permeate how we live as well as our work, our leadership, our community engagement, how we interact with the planet. And this is an opportunity, an example of psychological biomimicry to look to the natural world and its principles and processes and key lessons that enable it to be so regenerative and then psychological logically apply these into the ways that we think and act, feel and relate, organize, design, lead, you get my gist. And so if this seems like a subject that you're interested in, how do we create regenerative psychologies and cultures using the natural world as our inspiration, then I hope you'll join us for our upcoming free fireside chat devoted to this subject on January 8th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And as always, we're going to emphasize coming together in community and conversation. And yet this time in particular, we're going to be looking at how the natural world can and teach us important psychological lessons for how we can be more regenerative in all things that we do. So if you're interested in registering or getting more information, you can go to our website, visit our social media pages, or just send us an email. And I hope you'll join us. But if not, either way, I send my very fondest seasonal greetings. As always, nature knows the way.